Welcome back to the second segment of ILFL Soccer Nights. Now, this is the interesting part where a lot of viewers, a lot of passionate people, we are going to talk about the Vets League Cup that took place uh, last Thursday, the quarterfinals and the semifinals. Uh, without further ado, I'll go for the results. Uh, first fixture was Workhouse versus Tower Hamlets, and the results was nil-nil, uh, and he went to penalties, and the Workhouse won 2-1. Uh, Bowman winning 1-nil against Bundu, uh, Bundu Vets. Uh, Abuhani winning one uh, same score line against St. Catherine's Vets and Weavers uh, beating Stepney Legends 4 2. We've got a special guest. Before I go into the semi final results, I've got a special guest, uh, Hassan from Workhouse. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank How you. does it feel, first of all, winning the first quarter final? Because I know I've spoken to a few of the guys uh, last week and you said your objective was to get out of the group stage, get to the quarter final. Now, playing Tower Hamlets uh, and drawing nil nil and winning on penalties, getting to the semi final. That must have given you a lift or must have been a, a special occasion. Yeah, um, basically, obviously, you know, Tahan Litz was a very good squad. Very physical. It was something that we don't face as much at, in the second division, but, you know, they put up a really good fight and it went down to penalties. But during the game, I was watching the game and it was quite surprising because they actually had, uh, I would say, majority up to 80% of possession. Was that something new or was that something that you're not used to or was it something you adjusted to? I don't think we, we had good enough position. I think, you know, we had we had the best chance of the game where I, I know, I saw you know where well, I you, actually you missed. Actually I, actually, I actually I actually missed and I could I should have finished it off. Yeah. Um but in terms of, you know, I've got full faith in our defence. We've you know, if anything, I would say that we've probably got one of the best defence in the whole Vets League. Um Hamza and Humayun by very they connect together, they bond together. Um, so we've got full faith in our defence. Our goalkeeper, Gary, we've got um, Ghost. You know, Gary is a top and he proved it on the day. Do you on your training actually practice? Because I was looked at the stats. You actually, in the league, you played 10 games, you only conceded one goal. Uh, even in the group stages, in three games, in the quarter final, four games put together, you only conceded two. So obviously, you must be doing something special at the back. Uh, or is that something that you concentrate on or is it just uh, you, you, you've been lucky or you've been working hard on that? See, when we, when we do our training sessions, we try and do a lot of attack versus defence. And, you know, in terms of our attacking, I think we have some of the fastest wingers in the league. We've got Sabo and Abdus, very, very quick players, run with the ball, they're very fast. And then we have, up front, we've got probably one of the strongest man, William. In our two midfields, we've got Ali Bay and Jewel, very strong, very vision players. And when we play attack versus defence, I think our attack does give defence a hard time. And likewise, for our attack to break our defence, and we do that a lot in training. And, you know, I think it's improved on both sides of the games. Yeah. I think the other thing I've noticed uh, last week was, in comparison to the week before, uh, because you already played some of the big, big guns in the group stages, like so Tiger, like so Abohani, like so Bromley, you seem to be more calm and composed, whereas I think the week before you were slightly nervous or uh, some of you guys got hot-headed, but this time around, did the group stages uh, actually help you or you realise, wait a minute, we need to concentrate on our game rather than getting um, too passionate? I think what happened was Abwani gave us a wake-up call. Yeah. You know, we lost our first game. It is the first game that we've lost in that league. Um, and what happened was I think we, we needed that little bit of a beating to wake up. And then obviously we played Tigers, Tigers phenomenal team. Yeah. Um, you know, their passing, their possession was very, very good. Their middle is very, very strong. And they were, you know, they were beating us 1-0. We came back, they missed the penalty. So, you know, we did our part and maybe luck was on our side a little bit more. And yeah, we achieved, we won it. Um, well, we drew against them and then came to our last game with um, Bromley. Bromley, again, a very physical player, very physical team, very good team, very structured team. Again, a premiership team that, have, that are in the first division, but they are definitely a premiership side. Um, you know, they've got uh, Shazad, SG, and it was very hard to break them down. And it was a win game for both teams. We had, to, you know, one of us had to win to go through. And in the final, we did get the goal in the, I think it was after 10 minutes. And then, yeah, okay. it did help us, definitely. Excellent. Let's just look at the results of the semi-final for the viewers out there. Uh, you played against Workers, played against Beaumont. Again, uh, the, was, after the 30 minutes, it was a nil-nil. But you managed to win the penalty shootout 2-1. And the other game, other semi-final, was between Abu Hani Vets and Weavers. Weavers being the cup holders. Again, that was a very, very interesting match. Uh, the game finished at 1-0. 
but weavers managed to escape through on penalties 6-5. I must say uh, to Josh and Abu Hani, the team he has got at the moment time, I've seen last two weeks, is a very, very good side. And they've got some new players. So in the coming weeks, it'll be interesting to see how they perform. Uh, so unlucky to uh, Abu Hani, but the champions weavers, no, no, they're back in the final again. Uh, I know you haven't been too optimistic with Workhouse. Workhouse in the final against weavers, the current uh, cup holders. What do you think? Which way is he going to go? It's it's not about <coughs> not being optimistic. You know, if you don't encourage this, if you don't tell these teams that, you know, oh, you're not going to win, you know, it gives them all the incentive to go and prove me wrong, you know. And, um, you know, a second tier team in, in, in the second division having reached this far, you know, it's an inspiration for other teams, you know. And um, do you know what? We've, I'm actually taken aback, um, honestly. And I'm really happy that a team like that has actually managed to get into the final. And I mean, I hope you, you know, wish you all. Well, good luck, you know, so you, you can prove a point. Um, it's going to be a, a very, very tough final. You know, we're talking about weavers here, you know, the cup holders. Um, and, you know, you guys have beat, what, London Tigers and Beaumont at the same time. These are two of the strongest teams yeah. in the Veterans League. You know, you can't get any stronger teams than that, you know. I know with, with Abahani, you was losing that you lost one day or something yeah, with Abba Honey. Yeah, that was a, one of the first games, did you say? That was, or something that was like a very that. first game. That was a very first game. So, um, you know, I mean, good luck, you know. Um, mm. And, and, and all the best, you know. I mean, how do you define the second division teams, you know, in comparison to what you've been used to? No, definitely what you said, Nanabe, in terms of, you know, when you said, let's see how they do. It was an encouragement for us. We did want to, you know, we did want to make a statement. End of the day, us playing in the second division, we did get all aspects of the Premiership. So you got ELS, who hold the ball very well. You got reserves, very, very strong team. They gave us the physicality. There's other teams there that were really given us the experience of first division and what we did we knew that we would have to combine all little bits from these team and put it into one and that would be a premiership team now a lot of um a lot of people have said that you know what we're not an experienced team and you know it's the first time in our league but football is second nature to us the only difference is for us now is we play in a league where football is second nature to us so we know how to play football one of the most important things i think a lot of other teams lack is the bonding between every player but we've had this bonding for five six years because we've played together five six years so yes the league is new to us but workhouse football we've always done it i see so the league is new not football not, not football, football. Yeah. So, yeah. You, have, you have to admit the, the comparison between the division two sides and you played against like so abo honey uh, and uh, london tigers it is a, a you know much difference yeah. in terms of caliber and quality I, I think in terms of the pace of the game yeah. was a lot faster. That's what I personally believe. You know, it's a lot faster. And we love the pace game. We love the pace because, you know, you've got the whole, our attack is very quick. Um, Defence do a good job and they release it. And that's what we do like. But again, you know, you can't disregard ELS. They're a very good team. And I do think that they will, they're definitely, you know, up there with us. Of course, obviously you've got your Hawk and Eagle Vets yeah. uh, in Division 1. You've been around uh, the Vets League as well. Uh, what, what do you th what's your comment on this? I, I'm going to go for Workhouse. <laughs> There's a reason behind that. Obviously, we play a lot of friendlies Absolutely. on Monday nights. And uh, I must say, although they're in Division 2, but you're looking more like a premiership team. You know, it's a matter of time. Them climbing them, group ladders. Very difficult team to beat. Like you said, Hassan said, the uh, pace going forward is phenomenal very hard to match. Defence is very solid. We found it very difficult. So I think, you know, Weavers are also a good team, very experienced team. But obviously these boys, they're hungry. They want to win everything and uh, I won't bet, best bet past them I think to win this. I see Workhouse, I see a couple of seasons ago, we Weavers came into <laughs> the league itself. <laughs> they were similar to Workhouse. They okay. came in, no one expected because they're not a recognised big team like London Tigers or Tar Hamlets or Beaumont, mm. these established 20 years, 30 years team. Weavers came in and they surprised us in the league. Mm. Uh, they obviously won the cup last, uh, last, last time round. They were in the premiership and the quality of football they played. So, but in the recent years, they're not doing too well in the league. They, I think they're fifth in the league, but they won the cup. Now in the final game, do you see Workers and Weavers in a similar field? I know. Um, yeah, well, it's really difficult to say because, you know, when new teams come in, they come in pretty strong sometimes, like Workhouse, mm -hmm. and, um, and they go through this first season, and then they come second season, it's a different, completely different landscape because they're in a different division altogether. We're facing different teams with different style of football. And, you know, and if you lose one or two games and the pressure kicks in, and it's ever so difficult. And, you know, I mean, Weavers got promoted to the Prem before 
then they haven't won a single game, they got demoted again, then they got promoted again. Now they, they seem to be doing slightly better than the previous spell in the Premier Division, their fifth spot now, you know, I mean, yeah, previously I they were. When the expectation is arisen, and you're not, you're not pr uh, producing the expectation, that's one of the problem. And I think workers will, will probably face that in the next season, they in the next be. league. So the expect expectation is going to be high. Are you guys preparing yourself for, because obviously you're top of the league with five points gap, it's a matter of two or three games and you should be promoted. You've got the cup final to look forward for to. Are you making preparation for the next league or are you just sticking to your same squad? Yes, we are. And that's a special thank you to people like Quest Bay and Rahad Bay that really, you know, give us that chance to play friendly against them. And it is on their own time. They actually, you know, on their training season, they invite us sometimes to play and we prepare them. Our manager, AJ, who is really, really grilling us to be in a certain way. And like I said, we, you know, we are there to support one another. We are the workhouse family. And we will definitely be there. If we're, we're ready for first division and the premiership. Right. We were there from the day, we were ready for that from day one. So there you have it. So, so workhouse vet versus weavers vet in the cup final. Uh, cup final date to be announced uh, within a couple of weeks. Hopefully, it should be in the end of the season. Um, we are coming to the end of this second segment. We will discuss further vets and the other other potential projects we're lining up. So, stay with us, and we'll see you in two minutes. <laughs>